Holy cow, you guys. Would you look at this thing? Tim, <laughs> you have built an amazing vehicle here, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, so we wanted to showcase and, and do a quick little video for, for you guys to see how beautiful this machine is. Thank you. Um, yeah. Some things are over the top, like a 75 inch TV. Theater room, door link. <laughs> That's a weather station, the Xbox or the PS5. So I have a MIG TIG AC DC welder. Uh, All of this runs off of the solar. Uh, got a little mini mill. Lathe down sander, there. belt sander. Much everything I need to self recover or self fix, hopefully. <laughs> but other things, you know, like the wood burner, um, that always works. Well, if you have a dream, you just got to sit down with a blank sheet of paper and figure out how to go achieve it and that's what i did one little step at a time every day you just keep grinding it started off as a uh, 1089 military record it's a stewart and stevenson uh, one of the things i really love about the chassis on this is it has central tire inflation system so i can inflate and deflate the tires uh, going down the road, which was, makes it really cool. Yeah, that is so neat that you can just do it from the truck without having to get out. I mean, you can get stuck in the sand or the mud, and you don't have to even reach your valve stumps. No, <laughs> just stay in the cab and air down. Yeah, for it. yeah, or pump it back up. So yeah, it's really cool. And so your your Instagram is Adventure Athlete, and I think that's just the perfect name for you. So I've been following you for a couple years now, and I've seen your your GMC Canyon, right? Yep. You built a custom camper on that. That's just so cool thank you and you really you really do things your own way which i do kind of out of the box thinking yeah and i respect that man thank you and everything in my logo is what i do so yeah motoring, i'm very new to but mountain biking trials extreme enduro a little bit of rock climbing trail running paddle boarding kayaking and diving so, so cool. a little of everything heck yeah and i'm carrying everything with me we are a king of the hammers so that's it's great to finally meet you out here and you guys will probably hear some of the rigs rolling around but uh yeah nice a great event great people oh yeah so awesome so i built a 28 foot box yeah uh, and this is all hand built by you right you didn't start is, with anything yeah, other than the truck bare frame rails and then i built it from there um i always do twin spares on my uh, rig so these are on spindles and they actually are the lowest departure angle of the truck. So they work as a giant caster. Okay, hold on. Where's the wheel of fortune little tick, 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 you know, brrr, right. you spin the wheel. <laughs> and then I can also reroute the winch cable to this and then lower these, pull two pins and lower them to the ground for a, a easier tire change. Very cool. And yeah, that's where you can see the central tire inflation. That's kind of part of that system right there, huh? Correct. That's so neat. And then, yeah, the whole back opens up and the trials bike and the e-bike. I mean, <laughs> it's just unreal what you built, man. It's a, actually, it's a dream, really a dream come true. Yeah, it's so neat. So neat. So you got, yeah, you can unload them off the back. That thing comes down yeah, and then. The ramp drops, uh, it'll go to the ground, but it's easier just to kind of put a ramp and ride up the ramp. Yeah. In. all right so this, that's the main entry here is into the garage so come on in show you custom steps and you guys will see a lot of this on the interior is the coloring in the epoxies you've just done such a cool job to make it your own thank you yeah man thank it's so you, cool you, so everything in the garage basically is what built the truck so I have a MIG TIG AC DC welder. Um, all of this runs off of the solar. There's no place to plug the truck in. No DC to DC. Everything is 100% reliant on just solar and my 1,040 amp hours of uh, lithium ion. Uh, we've got a little mini mill uh, lathe down here, disc sander, belt sander, and pretty much everything I need to self recover or self fix, hopefully. And then everything that I kind of like to do, you know, yeah. archery, shooting type stuff, I carry with me. This is unreal, the amount of tools you've got. And yeah, look at this, the floor space to actually walk around and access everything and another e-bike. <laughs> this is my trike yeah. from Blackhawk Paramotor. And then I also have two paramotors underneath the uh, fab table here. Wow. They're all kind of disassembled down. But I have one that's a gas motor and I have one that's electric that charges off of the uh, the solar of the truck. Wow, look at that beautiful anodizing and carbon fiber. It's and... orange, my favorite color. Yeah, buddy. You'll, you'll get that. <laughs> Both of us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool. And then the, 
the ladder up to the hatch. You can go up there and That's, access some yeah, of your solar. Sure we're the solar um, you know, out here at the hammers there's gonna be a lot of dust so um, almost every day I'll have to go up there and wipe down all the panels get the dust off yeah and then there's a 13 foot upper deck for hanging out or a yoga deck for my wife so neat and yeah the actual toolboxes you've used to build the rig not just in the garage though you've got some up in the okay. in the home area here also carry an ice maker uh, Berkey knockoff oh nice as well as a um, wash machine and spin dryer oh wow so is that 12 volt or is yep. it wow yeah that's neat that's a cool off-grid deal um come on into the crib this thing <laughs> so this is a 13 foot garage and we're just now entering the home so this is the 15 foot of living quarters for the total of a 28 foot box so i wanted a theater room um sitting down here um nice chairs and um I did the 75 inch TV trying to figure out like, how do you package um, where you're gonna sleep? So I did this on a happy jack and right here. So that little guy. That'll take the bed all the way down to here and you just crawl into bed and it actually cycles around the TV so you can still watch TV um, in bed. Wow. Not the full thing. I still, I wanna move the TV up, I think another six inches. Wow. So. But for heat, I do have a uh, Chinese diesel heater that I haven't even hooked up yet. Um, you know, when you do one of these self builds, you're still always working on something. But uh, I use this Cubic Mini wood burning stove. Um, it works really good. Other night it was 26 degrees and I had an 86 inside. Wow, that's awesome, man. Yeah, that thing's cast iron, right? Uh, I think it's plate, just plate steel, but it just puts out 550 degrees on the top. So you can cook on it, put uh, cast on top of it to cook with. That's awesome. Works really, really well. I do like to cook. So I went with the uh, commercial uh, apartment size stove and oven combo. And then I did utilize a toolbox with soft clothes for my drawers and everything. So even if you forget to lock it, it still has a little bit of tension because I have done that before uh -huh. on the road and uh, you know didn't have a full uh, full show back here of stuff all over when I when I got here um, other than that microwave uh, TV refrigerator or uh, microwave refrigerator freezer upright oh yeah microwaves up here and then oh yeah look at that uh, uh, so you've painted everything black yep right so William professional flat black is my my go-to and for the stains and everything I like the unicorn spit with the uh, Rust-Oleum 2X Clear. So that's a lot of that what you see in here. I like the black and then it really brings out the colored spots a lot. I, I like the pop and I wanted to do yeah. everything black at first and then just add these little features. Um, yeah. Like this Manzanita wood. Um, that was cool, a cool feature. Well, like I didn't even notice. Okay, that's a fridge. There's a microwave. If this wasn't all painted black, this wouldn't look nearly as good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love, I love it. Some of it was different colors. So just trying to blend that. That's really neat. I don't know. It's not it's not something I would think to do, but it looks really good. And then the same with the black carpet. You know, there's a lot of carpet and, in here. And double padded. Yeah. And uh, people ask, like, isn't that hard to take care of? I don't, I don't have any, but I've had 100 people through here, and I yeah. just vacuum. Yeah. It's pretty easy to, to deal with. I always do carpet where I sleep. Yeah. Because if your hand touches it, it's not soaking the cold away or the heat away from you. And then it's good to uh, dispense your breath. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you don't get condensation and and correct, correct. yeah build up around and that's that's really neat. And then I did a double uh, double door for the pass through, so there's a watertight on the cab and then a watertight here, so I don't have to have a boot in between the two. Very cool. So do you use the pass through on this uh, much, or just kind of passing like times, items through? My or? dog loves it to run back and forth. Um, she likes to sit up in the cab and look and see what's going on around her that makes sense yeah. that's that's really neat for the doggos yeah this is some driftwood that i found out in the middle of the desert that i just Dude. did the same universe bit and um 2x clear cool i just noticed that as you said it that's neat that's like some real artsy stuff man yeah just like a <laughs> pop of color you yeah. know um to get away from just the all black yeah love it watching down to my videos of yeah, course <laughs> and then you got little uh what's this you got like a whole screen here with uh, all sorts of stuff yeah that's a weather station so it tells you outside temp inside temp um 
barometric pressure and then the wind that's uh and then it has a rain gauge up top so you know if you've gotten rain um a lot of times i close all these port hatches um if the weather's you know cold out i don't worry about looking outside i just stay in here and watch some tv or play the uh the xbox or the ps5 um got a, you know for you know you're going to have down days when you're out and so having something to occupy your time uh tried to cover all of that absolutely yeah well you've definitely got the comfort the the video games occupying your time inside occupying your time outside with the e-bikes right. the paramotors right and I, living it up no matter dude. what the weather is you got to get out and get a couple hour training session in yeah. And then uh, come in, rehydrate, and get some good food in you. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, and that's a, something you know you mentioned, too, that I think is notable. You don't have any windows in this rig. They're all hatches. They're all hatches. Yeah. Um, which is kind of, I haven't seen a whole lot of people do that. And a lot of people are like, you need to put windows in. I'm like, yeah, I just kind of like the idea of just being able to come and push something open. And yeah. And now you have full view. Yeah. Well, and you got airflow. Um, yeah. You and can. I, you're not closed off to it because it's a window. You're right. like opened up to the environment. Right. At first, when you said it, before I came in here, I was like, I don't know about that. I I dig it. I like it. And I'm gonna still I like do it some lot. screens on yeah. mag magnets, yeah. so they can fold up and go away. Out yeah. here, bugs are not a problem. As you know, a lot of different places you go to, you're like flies and mosquitoes and bugs coming in are a big problem mm -hmm. so that's going to be something that's going to be you know as you do you just keep evolving and adapting to your environment absolutely yeah it screens for sure would be a big big uh, upgrade but i like i like this a lot because you can go full open you know wind all, tons of airflow to cave mode right and right. just chill like a, my build style That's is what so I call cool. rust industrial. So rustic and in industrial. Yeah, so rust industrial. <laughs> exposed wiring that makes things easy to work on if you had a fault somewhere. Yeah. It's not hidden in a wall that you're chasing wires. Um, it's just simple, easy. Um, some things are over the top, like a 75 inch TV, uh, <laughs> Starlink. But other things, you know, like the wood burner, um, that always works. You can always find wood out somewhere. Um, I go for a walk every morning with my little cart and just find stuff that most of the people have left behind from years past. Mm -hmm. And that's what's been keeping me warm at night. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Like, yeah. I know just at the property, we're, we're still processing and burning trees from when they built the road in, I don't know, five years ago. We don't, right. and they literally just came through and pushed it. They're like, we don't care about these trees. We want a road. Right. And exactly. I'm like, Oh, I'm so glad you're here trees. Right. And we get to use these resources yeah. that are just wasting away. Warm, natural heat. Yeah. 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 That's super neat. I love the wood stove. I really want one in a rig. I think mine's a little tight. I could pull it off, but, but this rig, like totally justify that and so you carry a chainsaw then i do yeah yeah we awesome. got a milwaukee everything of course of course he does he have a chainsaw <laughs> you guys think yeah i think he does yeah and stuff like uh 100 <laughs> gallons of water okay yeah but like in the bathroom uh, and then dinette here too yes and everything's tied into like the stove is actually welded into the side this is all welded into the side so it's actually part of the structure of the truck the mm -hmm. free floating shelves are all part of the structure of the truck um I wanted a booth. How many times you go to a restaurant and go to the slide in the booth and dink, you hit your, your leg on the uh, the table leg. Yeah. So I wanted a free floater. And, uh, oh, did that. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. There is no leg. And Neat. then under here is my paramotor wing. But all of this is a pantry. So I, all of that is full of canned goods and um, anything you need to resupply. Neat. So I got enough food in here for probably a year. Wow. That's a lot. You might have more food than Julie. She has, she carries a lot of food. No. The big dude don't want to run out of food. For right. Sure. Yeah. But like the bathroom, right. it's got um, a little instant, uh, instant on demand that you would see off like outdoors um, roped into, this is the propane tank that just, I made a cool little cover for. Oh, that is a cool cover. And a nice place uh, for wife stuff. to shave legs or whatever. Yeah. But uh, this is the only hot water in the truck is this and it's instant. And I did that specifically that I'm not wasting water to get hot water. Mm -hmm. um, even I utilize the water from here in the hose to fill up the dog bowl before it gets hot. That's awesome. So I, I don't like waste. Yeah. Um, 
This uh, was a little deal I got from Home Depot as a, uh, a mirror that I've turned into <laughs> a cool vanity. Look at that. And then uh, I have all my stuff. I have a full, um, I carry three first aid kits. One's a full surgery kit. Mm -hmm. And then everything else is more like a bleed kit and wound uh, treating. With all the extreme sports, that makes sense. That's good. Yeah, you always know you're going to dink yourself up out. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the bleed kit, which is up here, which is just a quick little stop you. Stop oh, I have from, one of those. Yeah. Stop you from bleeding. It's got band aids and super glue and all the little things that uh, for the everyday, which really works out well. Yeah. And I put that together for um, not a whole lot of money, probably 15, 20 bucks from That's Walmart. That's awesome. Yeah. What a, it's a nice size uh, bathroom you got there, and you got not bad. Some stone flooring, huh? I wasn't worried about weight, so yeah, <laughs> it's got a rock floor and full grout. Um, no problem with that cracking or anything. The whole wood structure on this is cr covered in a uh, Herculiner, two coats on each side and four around the perimeter. So uh -huh. if the carpet gets wet, the wood is not going to go bad. Yeah, because um, everything is watertight. That's awesome. And as far as weight, so. How much does the truck weigh? The truck was 36,000 pounds uh, as a wrecker. Mm -hmm. and we're right in the 30,000, 29 to 30,000 pound as we're rolling down the road. So we're lighter than we were as a wrecker. And um, I did put highway gears in it. So it gets somewhere around uh, six to seven pretty consistent right now. Nice. I've only done about 1,100 miles so far. Yeah. And uh, super happy with the with the build and the truck itself. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's beautiful, man. It, it honestly like you can just see how you built it for your lifestyle, right? Specifically, and uh, I just love it. It's just honestly just a work of art. Like, and and it's it's built for basically two people. It sleeps too. You mm -hmm. know, people are like, well, what are you gonna do with the grandkids? They can sleep on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, it's got carpet. Yeah, it's comfy. I, I carry a tent. They can sleep outside in the tent or up yeah. on the roof on the tent. You know, whatever whatever works. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, thanks for showing us, man. You're it's welcome. a pleasure meeting you, and, and it's really um, it's really exciting to share it because awesome. I know that some of you guys are going to get some ideas from this and go build your own cool stuff. Well, if you have a dream, you just got to sit down with a blank sheet of paper and figure out how to go achieve it, and that's what I did one little step at a time. Every day, you just keep grinding. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, dude, you're an inspiration, man. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Go follow Tim, Adventure Athlete, Instagram, YouTube. Yep. And uh, yeah, you're you're full time on the road yep. for for a little bit in this, huh? Yeah, for I uh, committed to a year. I do have to Sweet. go back in town and do some taxes, but other than that, back out on the road. Awesome, living the lifestyle. So awesome, man. loving it. Well, yeah, great to finally meet you. Thank you guys for watching. We definitely know Tim's down to mob. <laughs> so comment and let us know what you think of the rig and all the like button stuff. But really, the question is, are you down to mob? <laughs> I'm down to mob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you.